Peggy 3. Yeah, so in Feed the Street there's, there's multiple game types. You, you don't just play one style of 4v4 or 5v5 uh, football. You know, we did some research at the start of the project. We went to Rio, we went to Amsterdam, we went to London to see how street football is played in all these different locations around the world. It's different across the whole world. And even in the same place, maybe there's 10 different rule types. Is that something that we wanted to uh, recreate in our game? We wanted to add depth to our game and we wanted to add authenticity to our game by creating those different game types. So we've got, we're going to have 1v1 to 6v6 gameplay. Come on, pressure, pressure, right there, right there, pressure! We're going to have futsal, so it's not huge in the UK, I don't think, futsal, but it's uh, very, big, very popular in South America and UEFA claim it's the fastest growing indoor sport in the world and it's growing rapidly in popularity in mainland Europe. So futsal, it's basically just a, a different version of five-a-side, but it hasn't got any walls. So I think we're maybe the first football game ever to have futsal. So it's another big win for us. Outside of those kind of like core five-a-side, six-a-side rules, we do have um, game types where there's no goalkeeper, so you can specify not to have a goalkeeper. Um, again, it just changes the challenge, changes the, t the type of game, changes the way you have to play. We also have game types where it's not about scoring goals, it's about being uh, the style and how you score those goals. So, you know, you get more points if you perform tricks, nutmegs, flick the ball over people's heads, these types of things. So, um, we've got game types for that also. We also have a game type called um, Last Man Standing, which has proved hugely popular with people who we've shown the game to. It's basically, you, you, you play a game, there's no goalkeepers, so very small goals. And you, each team starts with four players. If you score a goal, you lose a player. The first person to get all the players off the field wins the game. And again, it's just it's turned into a bit of a phenomenon for us. We didn't realize it was going to be so popular, but it's kind of like a surprise hit for us. So we've got all these different rule types, and you'll see those um, occur throughout the main game mode, which um, we'll talk about later. Machine.